What's going on, everybody? Today, I'm here with Inkstone, which is a brand new media outlet that is covering China for Americans. Today, we're in New York City, and we're going to be asking people what they know about China and why China matters. Let's find out. What do you know about China? Everything. Not a thing. It's a country. Where my parents are from. Communism. Pandas. China Wall. Confucianism. Crab Rangoon, you know, cheese wontons. We have a Chinese roommate, Yi. I just know it's a big place, like big country. Uh, there's like mainland China and then other places in China. Island of Hainan is, you know, where Shanghai is. There's a trade war. Trade war. The trade wars. All I know about is Ai Weiwei, because I'm an artist and he's an artist. The Olympics. General Tso's. Is Hello Kitty from Japan or China? Japan. Never mind, I don't know anything. A whole bunch of other stuff. But... You know some stuff. You know, honestly, I'm embarrassed by how little we know now. China's all the way over there, so like we need to bridge the gap. We need to know what's going on over there. Uh, which one of these is China, and which one of these pictures is Chinatown? China. China. Chinatown. Chinatown. China. I just feel like America does never, never has their <laughs> together, and this picture looks a little bit more messy, and this one looks a little bit more organized. And it's definitely China right here. Organized. This one is Chinatown, and this one's China. Yeah. China. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think most people's exposure to, to China is like pretty much just Chinatown? That's the gist of it, definitely. I live by Chinatown, so that's all I'm getting right there. I have a few news stories from China. I want to see your guys' reaction to it, okay? What do you think about the idea of a solo gym? Gym pod that is outside, this is the apartment complex this is at night. Do you think this is something that could take off in America? I think it's a good idea in theory. I don't know if I'd really want to be like perspiring in Washington Square Park by myself. Real shit. I like it because I don't like working out around people. I think there's a trend moving towards people being shamed at the gym, so this could this could catch on. Right now it feels like somebody could just have popcorn up. Right. So it's time to do some pull-ups. <laughs> I think it will almost be creepier without the window because yeah. I get claustrophobic. Yeah. We're not going to be able to talk to humans in the future at all. We're already stuck on our phones every day and then now this. Having like a personal, like one person gym. Oh, gym pod. A gym pod, yes, that is perfect. Can I have a solo pod life? God, I mm -hmm. want to move to China now. So this, it's a healing potion that has gotten really popular in some parts of China. 40 million people are taking it and they're saying that it's curing their ailments in a variety of ways. What do you think it's made out of? I have no idea, but I would never trust it because I wouldn't take supplements from China. Uh, maybe like pubic hair of a boar or something? Is that the ground up rhino horn? Rhino horn or something ridiculous, some endangered species. I'm sorry. <laughs> no idea, but Asian people are always doing weird with their medicine. Nah, that definitely got some like weed in it or something. Yeah, THC for sure. I don't know, China's kind of popular for their ginseng. Ginseng? Ginseng? Probably a roach or something. It is actually made out of... Oh! <laughs> Nice, yeah, I should have known. No surprise. That's gross. I would definitely try that. They need six billion roaches. They need six billion roaches. So they built these artificial intelligence farms that sort of run themselves, and that's how they're using AI in China. It's a productive use of, of, of uh, computers and artificial intelligence. If they need cockroaches, they could just come to New York. I mean, we got a lot of them here. My question is like, how did they figure out that this solves things? Like, did somebody eat a cockroach? It was like, yes. If it was anybody, it would have been China. Artificial intelligence is like everywhere now, so if we can use it to save like 40 million Chinese people, like, why not? Okay, so would you guys be able to pick out the president of China out of a lineup? No, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. no. I didn't know they had a president. <laughs> is this the president of China? Uh, no. 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 He's hot. He should be the defense secretary. But yeah. No. Jet Li uh, should be, but uh, no. <laughs> is this the president of China? <laughs> That's from uh, Korea, right? Kim Jong Il? <laughs> no. The great leader. Is it this man? Who is this? <laughs> it's that actor. Jackie Chan. This guy? Jackie Chan. Yeah. No, I'm not that ignorant. Is Jackie, is Jackie Chan not the president? He person? should be. I didn't know how like Will Smith is my president. Will Smith is my president. It's like Jackie Chan is president. Yeah, it might be that one. Word up, that's him, yeah. He looks like a president. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys got it right. Ding, ding, ding. Do you know his name? Isn't it uh, Li Shin G? There, that's one of the syllables. X I. I don't know how to say this. <laughs> Zing. J Zai. Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. Did you guys hear that the president of China recently got uh, unlimited terms? No. They amended the constitution to allow him to go more than two. Go more than two. Xi Jinping's got his whole like indefinite term now going on. So my family and they're kind of like worried about stuff going on there. And this is what Trump said about it. Maybe we'll have to give that a shot someday. Of course he did. 
Yeah, that. He's shooting for the stars. And that's a bold move on his part. Like, here's a tweet uh, from Trump in 2011. Yeah. Okay. Basically, it says China is an enemy, not a friend, right? Right. And then in 2018, he has a tweet that says, President Xi and I will always be friends, no matter what happens with our dispute on trade. Oh, what a diplomat. That's what I think. It's such a Donald Trump thing to say. I think Trump really just tweets out his feelings. Like, he could probably be like, on the toilet tweeting. Yeah, you know, we all have drama. Sometimes we dislike people, but sometimes you get over it. Maybe they were beefing, and now they're friends again. My mother's an avid Trump supporter who thinks we should build a great wall of China to keep the Chinese out across the U.S.-Chinese border. That is so not true. <laughs> There's a new service in China called HEMA that gives you 30-minute condom delivery. Do you think that we could use that in the U.S.? I don't use condoms. I think it's great because I'm actually afraid of buying condoms. Because I always feel like the attendant's always looking at me like, oh, oh, oh like what are we going to do today? And so I think it's a perfect thing. Get to my house, give it to me, we're done. So, <laughs> they have this new facial recognition software in China that can track pretty much anybody, anywhere, at any time. How do you feel about that? That's scary. Especially if it gets in the hands of the wrong people. But, but recently they were able to find a criminal in a crowd of 50,000 at like a packed concert. Uh, hearing that now, I think it's pretty cool, but I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want somebody like checking up on me while I'm sitting on my front porch, you know. Have you heard about the trade war with China? Yes. You know that there's tariffs that were put into place? To go tit for tat, China's starting to tax the products that come from the U.S. What consumer products are going to shoot way up? Clothes, like technology. I'm thinking like my bathroom, like, like shampoo, like lotion, stuff like that. Is this the most that you guys have ever been asked about China in your life? Yep, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. No. My world history class in high school. Yes. Yeah, definitely. I'm about to go home right now, go buy a flight to China. Do you think it is important to know about China? It definitely is going to affect the outlook of my career. It's going to be more and more present in our everyday lives. Definitely. You got to know about who's got the money. China is going to start shaping what happens in the world. So it would be pretty smart to know what's going on and why. Do you think it has piqued your interest at all in the future to look up more interesting stories on a site like Inkstone? Definitely. I feel like I'm not as in touch as I would want to be and this kind of made me realize that. To learn something that you might not know about that actually affects you. Yeah, I feel like U.S. is a very self-centered country and I feel like it's time that we take the time to learn about other countries who are up and coming. So Asia is on my list of travel destinations for next year, so maybe China just rose to the top. We'll have to see. <laughs> we talked to so many people on the streets in New York City today, and my major takeaway is that they definitely understand the importance of China in the world right now and moving forward, but they want to know how that news relates to them on an individual level, which shows me that there is definitely a need for a media platform like Inkstone, which talks about China to a U.S. audience.